Hello, my name is Mike Ackerman, and I'm a genetic cardiologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I also have the privilege of serving as the president of the Sudden Arrhythmia Death Syndromes Foundation, the SADS Foundation. On behalf of Alice Laura, CEO of the SADS Foundation, and all of our staff at SADS, we invite you to get to know us at www.stopsads.org. Alice and her team are here to help individuals and families affected by a potentially dangerous genetic heart rhythm condition, a SADS condition, like long QT syndrome, catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, CPVT, or Brugada syndrome, to not only live, but to thrive despite the presence of that SADS condition. I'm also excited to announce the return of the SADS Foundation's Heart of the Matter Question of the Month series, where you ask and we will answer your questions. This month's question is, are vaccinations okay if I have a SADS condition? Should I get my flu shot? Thank you for this great question. The short answer is yes, get your flu shot, get it now. Even in this current flu season, there is still time to get your influenza vaccine. In fact, you should get whatever vaccinations that your primary health care provider has recommended. For example, according to the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, during the last 2017-2018 flu season, nearly 200 children tragically died from influenza and thousands more were hospitalized. Unfortunately, about 80% of those children who died from the flu did not get their flu vaccine. As a result, the American Academy of Pediatrics has stated that all children over six months of age should get their flu vaccine every year. We at the SADS Foundation agree with this recommendation. The benefits of being vaccinated, of getting your immunizations far, far exceed the very low risk that the vaccination itself or the potential fever that might accompany the vaccination could have on your SADS condition. Although vaccine-associated sudden death among individuals with a SADS condition has been reported in the public literature, the risk is extremely low and simple precautionary measures can be taken to lower that extremely low risk even more. As a simple precautionary measure, if your SADS condition is the one known as either long QT syndrome or Brugada syndrome, it would be reasonable to take acetaminophen or ibuprofen to lower your temperature if you were to develop a fever in response to the vaccine. More importantly, if you are behind on your immunizations, talk to your primary health care provider on how to get caught up. There is still time to get this year's flu vaccine. I got mine. For more information on SADS conditions, please check us out at www.stopsads.org. In closing, on behalf of Mayo Clinic's Genetic Heart Rhythm Clinic, the Mayo Clinic Winland Smith Rice Comprehensive Sudden Cardiac Death Program, and on behalf of Alice Laura, the CEO of the SADS Foundation, Thank you for joining us today. And remember, the SADS Foundation is here for you and your family. Please join us in our life-saving and life-giving mission.